Hi there, I'm Nick Dimmock of uh, Director of Investor Relations at Organic Heat Exchanges. You may remember me from uh, the video and today I'm at um, Organic Heat Exchanges uh, workshop up in Thornton Cleveleys in uh, Lancashire. So just going to go in and show you around a little bit. So you can see the engineering workshop uh, there. And go in. It's about five o'clock now. So most of the employees have gone home. He says it's a little bit difficult to find the engineering workforce now, uh, especially the specialist welders that they need for the energy vault. So you can see that this is a treasure trove of kind of engineering. See, that is the energy vault that you saw in the video. I think that's the charger. Uh, as it is, we'll just go through and Bob will sh say hello to Bob in a second, he's upstairs. Uh, but it's a wealth of kind of practical engineering and tacit understanding of how everything really works because it's true that Bob is completely at the coalface of making everything work fantastically. Now this is Bob's little hobby, which are motorbikes. This is a Buell, you can see hanging from the ceiling. This is a bike that Bob's building. So I find it quite impressive that you can actually build a motorbike, probably without using the instruction manual. And here is an old Royal Enfield. Oh, Bob. Right. I, oh, the, this is the cooling tower for it, you know. That's the cooling tower, is yeah. it? I that, was trying to work out that what that was. On top. Right. Fan. Yep. And this, what happens is there's a falling film of water and so a trough in the bottom. Yes. And the water evaporates, cooling down the water, and then we use that water to cool the energy vault. Right. Got it. And this is the charger over here. Yeah. What happens here is... These, these are mounted motor, 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 so they, they're drawn switched about. So yep. the, the actual product yep. comes out of here into there, out of there into there, out of there into there, out of there, and then the consistency is quite stiff. Yep. That goes into char the charger. Brilliant. So these create the cold. Yeah, we, we right. start off with the clear water going in here with no ice crystals whatsoever. Yeah. It builds up some, 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 and then all of them go into the into the uh, energy vault store. Good. So so we, and this is the sled. So when we get to the stage where we need to manufacture and sell these and not install these but deliver these yes. throughout the world. The standard, we, we're going to be selling the sled, aren't we? This will be inside a fully liveried container, right. forkliftable into place. Right. Just like the main energy vault container, in a, a normal shipping container size, Yes. with our energy vault cocooned inside in a high thermal barrier, yes. so that it doesn't lose energy while it's on standby, or loses very little. Yes. And those two units, fully liveried up, are would be delivered on site by forklift or crane. Right. In, let's say we're getting sales in Dubai, yep. and we don't want to ship the whole containerized thing out there. Yep. Would it be this that goes with the AI and all the computer? This, this, this with all the artificial intelligence yes. here and all the control is what would go from here. And the actual vault, it would make economic sense to source that in, in Dubai. Yes. Or have it manufactured at an appropriate place and delivered there, but UK would be far too expensive. Brilliant. Okay, well look, it's a, um, it's a good job. So uh, thank you ever so much for investing in uh, organic heat exchanges and you'll be glad to know that things are going exceptionally, exceptionally well. And I think we're even more excited than we were before. Indeed. Alrighty, Indeed. thank you so much.